All right, I just did a shot of whiskey and listened to a podcast by Sam Harris, and now I am back and ready to pay attention to this game a little bit more. So it gave me the chapter complete screen, and this is the screen that I was wondering how to get to when I went back in to do the dark world of chapter one. Because it seems to give you, like, progress on various things. And it gives me two out of four warps. Is that two out of four warps completed or warps discovered? In any case, there are definitely some bandages lying in the warp zones that I did not collect. So I could go back for those right now, or I could try to just uh, do all the Dark World levels. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do all the Dark World levels and not worry about A-plussing them. Am I in the Dark World right now? It looks pretty dark. No, that must be the Light World. And Chapter 3 is called the Salt Factory, but let's go back to the hospital. And... Wait, no, I went back too far now. Where is Dark World? Oh, so it's burning with red flames in the dark version. The Light World version is actually darker. Funny how that works. This is called Backtrack, so this might be a little clue about how to do this level. It's just a backwards level. That's it. That's the only clue. Ow. <laughs> and Bandage Curl is hanging off the wall. That was lovely. Pink Eye Falls. This is similar to the other Leap of Faith level where you just have to go down. Only Bandage Girl is over there this time. So what happens if I just go straight down? I fall to my doom. I need to go down more slowly this time because Bandage Girl is in a different position. Is a meanly placed needle. Ow. 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 A little slower this time. There we go. No. If you're falling too fast, you can't catch the wall anymore. There we go. Ooh, I think I'm supposed to jump above those needles, not below them. Ouch. Here we go, above, in between, down and back across. A plus! I did it and I did it fast. Buzz cut. I don't want a buzz cut. Oops. <laughs> I'm getting a little carried away thinking that I can do these levels fast when I don't know what's coming. I need to jump just the tiniest bit possible to get over that saw without hitting the top one. made it. Ouch. They put a really annoyingly difficult level in this position. This level is much, much harder than any level I've played so far.
I jumped too high that time and I barely jumped at all. Ah! The last saw got me. I was almost there. I could feel it. I could taste it. I could smell it. And then I touched it. The saw, that is. I'm jumping too high. Ouch. I jumped too early that time. Just the right height, but too early. Ah, too high. The difference between the right height and too high is so subtle. Like in classic Mario platforming rules, the longer you hold the jump button, the higher you jump. Or like the higher you float up. I've always thought that was odd because uh, in real life if you're jumping, like, how high you're getting is determined by what you do before you leave the ground, right? Like how far you bend your knees and how hard you spring up. It's not determined by like whether you're thinking uppity thoughts once you've already left the ground. It's also kind of unrealistic that you can change your direction in the middle of a jump, but... If video games were like life, there would be no need for them to exist because we could just go outside instead of playing them, so... That was an A-plus for sure. Let's watch this beautiful replay with all of these Meat Boys. Look how many Meat Boys are failing at this level. Oh my god, it's carnage. It's carnage. It's a slaughter. It's a massacre. There's still like several down here near the bottom. And this game is freezing again. Isn't it wonderful when your game freezes? I hope I get credit for defeating this level because I don't want to have to do it again. I'm going to end this video and come back when I have 